Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Make My Food Awesome. I'm Mark Allen French, your guide to good food. And I'm Trisha Morrissey. My sweetheart of science. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, just wanted to hold on to you a little extra longer. No. Yes, my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So, guess what? What? It's actually a nice day outside. Well, yeah. I know. It's there's sunny. A, there's a breeze out there. And it's a lot cooler than it's been, so that's... Good. And we love it. We love yes. it. This is perfect weather. Yeah. Great summer. And so, you know what? Um, I got a little bit of a suggestion for a nice healthy snack we could do. Yes, I'm excited to make them. Yeah, I know. And guess who we got it from? Who? Shirley. <gasps> Shirley. Shirley. Thank yeah. Shirley. Shirley was the one who suggested them. And you know what? Milo agrees. Mm -hmm. That's a great suggestion. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using something that we actually used recently in the past week, yep. and that is zucchini. a zucchini, a beautiful zucchini. Yep. So this is one that we <clears throat> got from my parents. My dad got it out of the garden, yep. um, and we're actually going to be making zucchini pizza bites. Yes, I'm excited. Now... We've talked about all the healthy benefits and everything for the zucchinis. Yes, we have. And we've talked about how it has a lot of water in here. Mm -hmm. And we've talked a little bit about my plate. But yes. there's some of us who are still trying to figure out the whole my plate thing. So could you tell me, explain to all of us mm -hmm. here who are members of Team Awesome and those who aren't. And if you want to become a member of Team Awesome, pop down the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell, get notifications, and you can get all our fun stuff that's coming up, as well as all the back catalog. Yeah. So. Well, if, okay, so we're going to make pizza bites. And this is, um, I would say, medium-sized zucchini. You can buy them or grow them smaller, or you can get ones that are larger. Basically, one serving size, because we talked about on my plate, that you want 25, uh, around 25% of your plate mm -hmm. filled with colorful vegetables. Um, and so if we're going to do two large slices of our pizza bites, and that would be like one serving size for a snack, or if you're going to incorporate it onto your plate for a meal. So mm -hmm. say you're doing lots of little snacky type things on your plate, two um, large slices of this pizza bite would be a serving. If the zucchini was um, half the width, then you might do three or four because it wouldn't be as big around, but they would mm -hmm. equal the same amount. So that's what you do. And I know that I love zucchini, and I'm always trying to come up with different things to do with zucchini. Mm -hmm. We did relish. Bread. Mm-hmm. And we're going to make pizza bites now. And I also love grilling. Oh, yes. Them. Yes, he does. So, Which you saw at our, live at five, our very first Live at Five, Grilling mm -hmm. and Chill. But you know what? What? Since I love grilling so much, and I love grilling zucchini, I figured... Now, the recipe normally calls for you just to bake them. So I, I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grill them. So I'm going to par grill them. So I'm not going to grill them all the way through. They're not going to be fully cooked. And then I figured what we could do is come back inside and we could throw them into the oven with all our toppings on it. And we could finish off there, get nice mm -hmm. melty Daya cheese. Your favorite. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm excited. So why don't we show them how to prepare? Yes, okay. So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to, I'm not gonna use all this just now. I'm just gonna cut us four pizza bites. So I'm gonna give probably about right there to nice width for it. Cut them pretty even because then when you come back in, we're gonna be cooking them all together. So there's our four zucchini rounds right so let's go ahead and get the pan got our pan here and we're going to since i'm just going to be taking this outside um trisha if you would like to go ahead and brush them both with sides or both just... both sides and this is just extra virgin olive oil and i'm going to grab a couple of our little toppings or spices that we're going to be putting on them. Now 
now we're going to season both sides of these. Yes, and for this we're not going to we're not doing anything beyond just putting um, some of our no salt and some pepper. That's all we need to do. Mm -hmm. So we're just sprinkling it. Just in. sprinkling we're not it. Really measuring it. No, not for this. We'll measure for our when we actually make the pizza sauce. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. All I'm doing is just sprinkling that on. Okay. And you did you got both sides? Yes, sir. Okay. Actually, before I flip it, get get the pepper on there. Whoa! <laughs> I slightly overdid it. Uh, you think we might have to brush a lot of this? I <laughs> my low. So we actually we have plenty for. What I'll do is. <laughs> We have plenty for both sides. Make sure so there you're you the go. the right part of the shaker open. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> oh, we, there we go. We're human. We make we make little. Hey, that's what paws. you do if you accidentally put too much pepper on there. Yep. There we go. Do you so, need some no salt for the other side? Um, for the other side, yes. So, do you know which side that is? <laughs> Let's just say we're good. <laughs> Let's just say. Yes, because we we're going to top it with a bunch of yes, other stuff. So will. I don't think we're really going to miss out. No. So if you want to hand me the bowl right there, I'm going to take this little bit of pepper, that extra pepper, and I'm going to put this right in here. We're not going to waste it. No, 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 no. We can use it for our sauce. Now our sauce, actually, I'll take oh. the bowl back. <laughs> okay. So if we want to go ahead and open up our can of crushed diced tomatoes. And these, it's nice because, you know, for this, there's only 90, 90 milligrams of sodium in it. Generally, I will pick up the no salt added, um, but this is the one that I grabbed for this particular recipe. So I'm going to add that into my jar along with the lid. <laughs> Just, I'm not, I'm, You're not batting I'm, 100 today. No, I'm not at all. <laughs> Well, um, we all have those days. So then I'm going to add in, in pizza sauce, pizza sauce has oregano. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in there one teaspoon of oregano. I'm going to get that oregano flavor in there. So I've got a teaspoon of oregano. I'm going to put in for the garlic powder. I'm going to put in half of that teaspoon. Maybe a little bit more because I really like that. So there's that. Then we're going to put in a little bit of onion powder. Love that nice oniony taste in there too. I'm going to do about half a teaspoon as well for that. There we go. And so we don't, we're not going to add any of um, the no salt into this right now. We can we can add a little bit to the end product. But we'll go ahead and mix that together. Now are we going to need to heat this at all? We, well, no, no, we're not going to even worry about that because we're just going to go ahead, go ahead and put it directly on there. Sometimes if you want to, if you want to heat this up on the stove and cook it down a little bit, you can. Mm -hmm. um, but could you hand me the sage? Yes. And my knife, please. Now I picked this sage out in our garden yes, and we, we actually got a little portion of a plant Kind of starter from my parents chunk of the root and uh and it looks and ours is huge it's a yeah. huge huge we probably got i don't know that big of a root base and now it's like huge exactly so i'm going to chiffonade this up just to get some of that flavor in there and i'm just going to put that right in here and if you want to go ahead and stir that up there we go. So we've got our sauce ready. So it's a very simple sauce. Like I said, if you do want to cook it, you could cook it down a little bit, but this is going to be fine for what we're doing. Um, I'm going to set this. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is, do you want to give it a quick taste and see if there's anything else? No, actually it's good. And I don't think any salt needs to be added to that. No, no. None. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, this tastes good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead, let's pop outside, get those uh, zucchini grilled up, and yep. then we'll get back in here and we'll make our own little pizza bites. All right, let's go. All right, let's grab them.
All right, honey, let's go ahead and get these set on the grill. Got a little bit of a wind outside, so what we're going to look for on these is we just want to get these cooked through enough so that they have some grill marks on both sides and they're going to start getting uh, tender. So just go ahead and leave, set them on there. You don't want to mess with them too much on that. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to close the lid to this. There we go. All right, so we've let these sit on one side for about four minutes. It's time to flip them. Mm. Look at those beautiful grill marks. And you can see that the flesh is starting to turn a little translucent as it cooks. Look at that. Bless you. Man, that pepper. That pepper went up your nose. Because I was having the sneezes too. Oh, that one was oh, really those good. Oh, beautiful. So we're and they have a nice, deep, wavy indention from that grill mark. Mm -hmm. So I would say probably another four minutes on this side, and then we're going to go ahead and take them off the grill. Yep. Now we're going to close the top and let them sit for four minutes. Now look at that, honey. Perfectly done, and you can see. The water rising to the top on the opposite side, sort of like when you're cooking a burger, you know that the insides are warm enough to push that liquid out. Okay. So that's what the last oh, side looks nice. like. We'll put them onto our tray now and transport them in the house. Because we're going to put some yummy toppings on these zucchini pizza bites. Let's see that last side. Ugh. Oh, that looks so good. All right, let's get inside. There we go. Yes, it's time to assemble our toppings. Mm-hmm. I'm serious so, about this. Yes, so am I. So we have some, you can use whatever you want. It doesn't matter. We have some fresh tomato. We have some delicious mushrooms. Mm -hmm. We have some black olives. Which are low sodium, by the way. Exactly. We have some onion. Mm -hmm. And then we have some basil, which I just picked out of the garden. And what else? We have some pesto. Basil pesto Basil in our pesto. sauce. And diet cheese. And diet cheese, yes. So we have all these things, and we're going to go ahead and bring our zucchini over. And now do you want do you do you want some onion? Just, yeah, I mean very thinly sliced because I'm wanting to fit quite a few not a everything but some toppings on there and the kitchen sink no 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 we're talking about that's something you would do me i don't need to like put every flavor in the universe on there but mr france mm -hmm. likes to do that here thank you you're welcome so you want thinly sliced very thin onion. okay like, so you can almost see through? there that's good that well, I'm cutting me some myself. Of course. <laughs> I, and I know you're not going to believe this statement, but I'm not going to have any tomato on mine because I'm perfectly fine with the sauce. Wow. Like I said, I'm trying to leave room for all the other things I want to put on there. I mean, they're okay. only so big. Gotcha. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. All right. So are you ready for me to bring the pan over? Yes. here they are mm -hmm. oh, it's a little hot yeah. okay so so my two your two yes that's fine okay so i know that i want to do one of each one of each i'm going to do one with the um sauce on it if you want to put some sauce on there for me sure and i'm oh. going to do one sorry with the basil pesto there we go there we go that looks good I'm just gonna keep it to the traditional pizza. Gotcha. I like pizza. I like pizza flavored things. I love pizza flavored too. Okay. So now, do you put your toppings on first and then your cheese, or do you put your cheese and then? No, the my toppings? cheese is last. Okay. Because so. that way it melts and coats everything. Gotcha. Um, 
I actually, I'll take one, just give me one sliced olive and I'll put that over here on my basil pesto. Okay. So I do have... That's sliced. Thank you. Yep. And like I said, these are low sodium, um, which you would think that's kind of like counterintuitive that olives are typically salty, but you can, you can buy them in the low sodium prepared can, which I like. Mm-hmm. I mean, green, I think, are saltier than most, most flavors of black, but. Right. Okay. All right. So I've got mm -hmm. onion on mine. Now I do want to, I, I'm not going to put any basil on this because of the fact that it already has basil in it. Well, yeah. So I'm going to put that a little bit sense. of basil over on this guy here. Here you go. Sorry. If you want some, I'm it's fine. Spreading out my onion. So I know that I used to, when I was younger, I loved pizza so much. <laughs> and we did not have, we didn't have pizza a lot. We had it once in a while. And it was always those little pizza kits. Like so, the little Caesar pizza kits? No, 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 no. The pizza kits that you buy in a little box for a dollar or something at the store. Really? And, I, yeah. Where did you get those? We, we, uh, my dad, when we were growing up. We did pita bread pizzas. That's what we did at home. Oh, well. <laughs> if we made it at home. Otherwise, we would order out. But we didn't order out uh, pizza a lot. Mm -hmm. well, it I... just wasn't... I, I don't know. It might have just been the times. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are older. Um, but it kind of... I mean, we grew up in more of a, like, a mixture of country. And, a, you know, more rural versus city life. Mm -hmm. So things were kind of a drive. Right. You know, we we grew up, what, I'm three excited. miles apart? Um, yeah, I think about yeah, three miles about apart. about three miles apart, yeah. And like I said, we, we met when we were 16 and we worked for Mickey D's. But, um, yeah. I'm taking one thin slice of tomato and putting it on top of this guy. Okay. Now, see, what I was trying to say is I was trying to say that colorful. I used to make my pizza, my own personal pizzas, You're out right. of slices of bread. I take a slice of bread and I get a little bit of. Um, we didn't have pizza sauce, so I would get uh, like some if if we had some uh, ragu or something. Yeah, spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti sauce. sauce. Well, a little that, bit of that's spa the next spaghetti sauce on thing, there. I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I put a slice of cheese and and I put them in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. And that was my pizza. Speaking of microwaves, I remember as a kid. You know, this is gonna date us, but we we said we were older, so you've been forewarned. When microwave ovens first came out, and we had one in the house, and it came with a whole cookbook of how to cook with the microwave. And the very first thing my mom taught me how to do in, in the microwave was scrambled eggs. And to mm. this day, if I'm going to, like if I have to like quick, quickly process some magical scrambled eggs, I still follow the same um, method mm -hmm. of making scrambled eggs. I taught my kids how to do it too. They like to do it on the stove, which now that they're old enough, they can cook on the stove and well, we have gas, so that makes me a little nervous, but they figured it out. All right, it's time to put the pizza in. It is. Instead of time to make the donuts, it's time to make the pizza. Yes. Pizza bites. So we've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in there for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna crank it up, up to broil, and we're just gonna get it so we can get all the cheese melted and start getting a little bit of a brown on top. Yeah, we want to caramelize the cheese a little bit. Make it ooey gooey over the top of our pan. So there we go. And we'll be back in a jiffy. Yep. See you soon. Ah, okay. Let's get these puppies out. Look at that, honey. Yay. Look at yours. There's your beautiful pizza bite. Mm-hmm. Your other beautiful pizza bite. And they fit perfectly on, I know it's not a 10 inch plate. No, but, <laughs> but this would cover 25% yes. of your 10 and a half inch regular dinner plate. So I've got my two right there. Oh my gosh, they look so good. <clears throat> I'm very excited. Now, if you were dealing with a smaller zucchini and you had smaller rounds, then you'd have to obviously be a little more creative what you fit on there, but mm -hmm. very excited to try it. So, Ma, knife right. and fork? There you go. He's actually going to use a knife, which is usually not what he does. But. No, I'm not. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try my pesto one first, and then this right here. Be careful not to burn it. I out, know. Because these are right out of the, the oven. oven yeah. And what I like about um, when you're cutting through the zucchini, you can feel the firmness of the skin. Mm hmm. And it's not too firm. No, and it, you know it's cooked all the way through. You don't definitely don't want to try to eat raw zucchini because that would not be a very wonderful experience. But mm -hmm. I'm going to try my mushroom olive one first. Okay. Ready? I'm a little nervous. I don't want to burn my mouth. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Those are good. Wow. That's a good bite. I mean, they're chewy. They have substance to them. They're not. Mm -hmm. It's not mushy. It's not mushy. They actually. That's really good. The I'm pesto try one this is one. really, really good. I get, I mean, there's a lot of good basil flavor in that. Right. You definitely would have to like pesto to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm going to try my actual pizza sauce one. Look ah. at that. Mm -hmm. Technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. Milo, come here, Mai Mai. Mm. That's really good. I think Milo was growling because he doesn't have a piece of this yet. <laughs> he would eat it if we gave it to him, but I don't think your stomach mm -hmm. would be so happy. Okay. Those are both really good. So, if I can keep it on the fork. <laughs> that is a trick. Mm. All right, one more bite. But yeah, th this is thank you, wow. Shirley. This is a great suggestion. It is definitely, and I and I'm not gonna lie. This one I like. I love the basil one. Mm -hmm. But this so the sauce and everything combined on on the pizza bite one with the pizza sauce is phenomenal. I'm but really very, shocked because you you equally like basil and tomato. I do. Oh boy, mine is falling apart here. Oh my gosh, one more. I'll take one more of this one. Of course, you'll take one. <laughs> oh, this, this is good. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, sitting here trying to eat with my left hand. <laughs> I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna, gonna use my fork to cut this guy. And these would be easy enough if you made if you had a smaller zucchini. Mm-hmm. You made like a tray full assortment mm. toppings on it for like a get-together I think people would dig it definitely definitely filling too so it is very filling because zucchinis not only do they have a lot of water but they have quite a bit of fiber in them mm -hmm. and vitamins and you're not really losing any of that by doing a par grill and then a quick you know quick little bacon broil mm -hmm. action on them but yeah they're really good very very good thank mm. you Shirley so thank much you. And See, please share your ideas yes, with us. Yes. And uh, we'll we'll make it awesome. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, you know, like we've said before, if you guys want to get some of these recipes, you can go over to www.makemyfoodawesome.com, sign mm -hmm. up for a newsletter. Um, or follow along with our with our videos and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Watch the video, get your ingredients, and follow along and cook along with us. Um, subscribe if yeah. you're new here we would love you to be part of our exactly. team exactly exactly yep. so we're looking forward to seeing you guys back here so that we can do some more uh fun baking grilling canning cooking cooking with you guys <laughs> um so join us again on make my, my food, food awesome. awesome and we will see you guys very very soon bye now take care